Hi guys, I'm Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another Photoshop episode. Today I will show you the power of curves. Actually, I will show you what you can do in Photoshop just using the curves. So let's start. All right, guys, for the start, we will use this image that I made a few days ago. I paint this birdhouse hair by hair. It took me eight hours, but that's not the topic for this tutorial. Today we will talk about the curves and for that, let's bring the curve dialog box. All right. First, what you can see here, you have the histogram of the image, the details of the lights, middle parts and uh, dark parts of the image. And you have this line across this square box here and that's the curve line now is the curve now it's a straight line all right the obvious way what you can do with the curves in photoshop is to brighten the image and to darken the image or you can even make the image completely white if you do this but you don't need to do that all right i will not today uh, talk about technical details about the curves we will just play with the curves and see what you can do just using the curves in photoshop all right, that's the first thing. You can brighten and dark the image. The second obvious thing, what you can do with the curves, it's to make the contrast of the image a little bit higher. For that, we will use two points. First, we will make the bright parts a little bit brighter and the dark parts a little bit darker, like so. All right, that's nice. And as you can see here, we have two types of contrast. We have luminosity contrast and the color contrast. Uh, you can see the color contrast here by image uh, going a little bit uh, uh, saturated, a little bit oversaturated than I like for this image. And now uh, when you make the contrast curve here, you can choose. Do you want to have luminosity contrast or you, do you want to have color contrast only or you want to have both contrast? All right, how you can do that? You can jump here on the blending modes. When uh, the normal blending mode is on, like now, you have both, both contrast uh, applied. But if you go down, all the way down to the luminosity blending mode, you have now only applied the luminosity contrast. The color are intact. All right, as you can see, uh, before and after. All right, only luminosity co contrast is applied. And I will show you just quickly what these icons here means. This is the clipping icon. Uh, you clip this curve dialog box to the layer below that layer and that means that you affect only the layer down below, not the complete list of the layer if you have a lot of layers. The second one it's the preview button before and after, before and after. The third one it's to reset everything to the start point, to the straight line here, to the di diagonal line and the Fourth one, it's to toggle on or off the visibility of that layer. And the uh, last one, it's to delete complete curves dialog box. All right, let's uh, reset this. And again, play with, okay, okay, let's play with the contrast. If you want to have the color contrast only, then switch from luminosity to color here. And now you have the color contrast only, as you can see here the let me see before and after the luminosity of the image it's intact you just pop up the colors and that way you can add the saturation in the image just using the curves and of course as you can add the saturation you can desaturate the image just using the curves how you can do that just in color or saturation blending mode it doesn't matter let's stay on the color for now and reset this just make this Diagonal line straight. Just pull this all the way down and you now have a black and white image. You don't have color information about this image at all. Uh, you just need uh, this line to be straight. It doesn't matter if this is here. You can put it here and be straight or, or a little bit up like so. Only what you need is straight line and you can play then and maybe achieve some effect that it's interesting that you want to achieve by switching these points here all right let's let's reset this uh it's interesting that 
for example, if you have if you want to, to desaturate just a little bit the image using just the curves, you can just pull this all the way down and go here to the opacity slider and just choose the right opacity for your image. For example, you want this a little bit desaturated look for the image or maybe it's too much like so. And let me see before and after you now have desaturated look only using the curves. All right, let's reset this. The next thing what you can do with the curves is to play with the red, green and blue channel. Okay, let's go here to the red channel and let's go to the normal mode. If uh, you're in normal mode and, for example, pull this red channel up, you will add a red tint to the image. And in this situation, you will re uh, add red in the mid-tones of the image, the mostly of the mid-tones. If you want, want to add red in the shadows, then you just pull the shadow part up and you just add red in the shadows. Maybe it's more pronounced in the green channel. You want to add more green in the shadows. As you can see, there's a lot of green now in the shadows. And opposite of uh, green, it's magenta. And if you pull down the green, you will add magenta in the scene. And it's the same with the blue channel. You can add the blue and opposite it's yellow and you can add the yellow or uh, decrease the amount of blue color in the scene. All right, that's one thing what you can do with the curves. The other thing is the same, red, blue uh, and green channel, but going to, to saturation here, a uh, blending mode. And for example, if you want to saturate the, yeah, the red, uh, sorry, the green parts uh, from the image, go to saturation and just pull the green a little bit up. And as you can see, let's put this all the way to 100%. As you can see, the green it's saturated, but there is downside of this this method of saturation. It's the same. For example, if you want to desaturate green, as you can see now, the magenta it's going a little bit more. You will pop the magenta color, and if you saturate the green, you will desaturate the magenta. Maybe the I don't know the red. Uh, red uh, channel will be better for, for this uh, image. If you saturate the reds, as you can see here, the cyan goes black and white. You will desaturate the opposite parts of this uh, curved yellow box. Red, the opposite is cyan. All right, if you want to saturate the cyan, look at this part of the image. Let's bring this down. We will saturate the cyan, but we will desaturate the reds. As you can see, the skin and the hair, everything that has the red pigment in it, we will desaturate that. Sometimes there, this is a good method to do something in, in your image, but sometimes it's not. But just for uh, your knowledge, this is one thing that you can do with the curves. You can maybe, you want to desaturate this cyan, but you want to saturate the reds. And you can do this just by pulling up this red channel curve just a little bit all right the next thing what you can do with the same red green and blue channel it's to do the same thing but here with the color blending mode with the color blending mode you will not saturate or, or desaturate anything you will just add the color to complete image let me show you if we pull up the reds you will add uh, like little transparent layer of the red all to the all image, the all colors. If you want, uh, go down, you will add the cyan to the whole image, even to the reds. You will not only this, you will not desaturate the reds. You will add the cyan to the reds. It's the same with uh, with the blue, for example. You will add the blue to the scene. You will add the yellow to the scene, and just play with that. Uh, like this, you can color grade the image. What is the next thing you, what you can do with the curves? You can color grade the image. Okay, let's go back to the normal mode and let's a little bit change the color mood of this, this image just by using curves. All right, let's go to the blue here and 
let's add a little bit of yellow tint to the highlights here by pulling down the blue here we, we are adding the yellow to the highlights like so all right and let's add a little bit of blue to the shadows i will exaggerate just to show you the effect okay like so and maybe go to the green and add a little bit of the green to the shadow like so and pull off the green from the highlights like so maybe and let's go to the red and just add red a little bit to the midtones or you can decrease the red from the midtones and have a little bit of yellow tint uh sorry greenish tint over the whole image and let me show you before and after before and after it's completely up to you how you can play and change the color mood of the image and it's really fun you can make a lot of different color styles just using curves it's so powerful tool in photoshop all right let me show you another thing as you can see here uh, the image look a little bit washed out that's because we uh, play with this uh, sliders and go up and decrease the contrast in the green and the blue channel and that's why the image look a little bit wa washed out but if you want to preserve the contrast of the image and have the same color grading effect then just go from a normal mode to the color mode and the contrast st stays the same but you will just change the colors of the whole image okay the next thing what i want to show you maybe sometimes you will use it maybe you will not use it but let me just show you quickly uh, for example let me just make new layer and use a gradient tool and okay let's use this blue dark blue to no 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 like what all right let's use dark blue to light blue my photoshop go crazy all right and if you make a curve layer curve adjustment layers here and go to the saturation and go up you will desaturate the highlights as you can see the highlights started to uh, lose the color information if you go down you will desaturate the shadows as you can see here as you go down all the way the shadows start shadows and the mid-tone start to uh, lose the color information and sometimes you will need that in some image i use that in a, a few situations not so often but i use it when i want to desaturate only the shadows or, or only the highlights or the shadows uh, in the scene and all right let's delete this we don't need that at all all right let's now go and retouch uh, another image just using the curves for that i will use this image of milky way and i shoot it this few months ago all right first this will be quick let's use the curves of course because today we are only using curves and brighten up the image just a little bit then use another curves adjustment layer and make a little bit contrast like so then use another curve adjustment layer and let's add the bluish tint to the image especially to the dark parts here and let's go to the blue and move this a little bit up like so but we have blue and magenta tint in it and i want to reduce the magenta and then go and add a little bit of the green here and add a little bit a uh, reduce a little bit of the red to have a nice bluish tint on the image here all right but we will use the color blending mode just not to lose the information in the shadows we i don't want to make the shadows washed out all right and now we have this let me show you before and after another interesting thing what you can do here with curves again make a curve adjustment layer why not today we are only doing with the curves and uh, let's make only this part of the milky way a little bit brighter 
and contrast here. Something like so, but only this part. How you can do that? Only using curves and of course mask because this curve adjustment layer has a mask on it. You can just paint and mask only this part or I don't know if you know this trick, double click on a mask and you have this dialog box and you have color range button here. Just click on a color range, you have color range dialog box open and just select using the shift the parts that you want to be bright like this. You can see here you have a fuzziness and you can, uh, you, you can include more or less in this selection. We will include something like so, press OK and then just feather a mask a little bit like so and see before and after, before and after. Only this part of Milky Way it's now lighten or brighten up a little bit. All right, I like this. All right, you now saw how to use a mask with the color range to adjust only some parts of the image that you want to be included uh, with that uh, curves or some other adjustment layer. All right, let me show you again before and after and then we will step uh, to the third and last image for this tutorial. Okay, before you can see and after it's really big difference before and after. You can color grade this to some different mood. You can play as much as you want, be creative, experiment, have fun with that. All right, let's step to the third image for this tutorial and let me show you another thing. There, is, there, there are a lot of images uh, on uh, internet that uh, has that uh, washed, washed out look and that you can achieve really, really easily by using the curves. Okay, you, you will just need this black point here and just put it up and as you can see the black points, the dark parts of the image are washed up a little bit and just go and put some points back. You need this line to be straight and just to play with uh, things in the, this, this square here. All right, and this is one way how you can make this effect of the washed out image and then use another curves and curves and go to the red for example add a little bit of the red to the shadows and maybe mid-tones and reduce the red from the highlights as you can see here in the building let's reduce a little bit of the red and go to the green and reduce the green to add a little bit of magenta to the scene like so and go to the blue and add a little bit of yellow tint or blue tint let me I think the blue it's a little bit better for this and yeah like like so and now with only two curve sliders but you you could do it that in in one slider I'll show you just a second you change complete look of this image it's a little bit wash, washed out look, a little bit vintage look and how you can do that in only one curve adjustment layer. It's the same. You made all these uh, steps with uh, red, green, blue channels and go to the RGB channel and just do the same what I did before. And if you turn this on again, you have even washed out look. All right, that's it with the curves today. So guys, we are basically done with this tutorial and we are finally finished with the curves for today. But remember, curves are so powerful tool in Photoshop, Lightroom, Camera Raw, Capture One, just name it. Seriously guys, just practice, experiment, have fun, be creative. Combine curves with blending modes and the masks and you can really achieve a lot of it in Photoshop, Photoshop not Photoshop, Photoshop, just using curves. I hope that you like this tutorial, I hope that you learn something new out of it. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave it for yourself. I'm just kidding. Please ask them in the comment below, I will be glad to answer them. If you have some suggestion, maybe for new tutorials, just comment below. See you next week in the next tutorial. Bye bye.